Morning guys, here we are, Thursday morning. Weekend is not too far away. And for lots of people, including myself in the past, the weekends was the, the main contributor to my challenges when trying to change my body shape. And I remember being a doorman, previous life. And at the time I was working, well, I was doing voluntary work in a gym and as a doorman it helped me to be large and was strong and you know it was suitable for that that environment and that 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 job then i went to work in the fitness industry i started to work on myself a little bit and i wanted to have a positive impact on others so i was weekends was when i did my voluntary work in a gym and i really wanted that job and i really wanted to to, to change from being a doorman to working in a gym. And yeah, the weekends, the weekends was the main problem for me. And I remember driving to work on a Friday and saying to myself, I'm going to be good this weekend, right? And when I say good, I, I had takeaways most weekends, Chinese, curries, you know, things like that. And for context, yeah, you know, there's lots of takeaways when you're out and about, you know, pubs and clubs, right? So sometimes it'd be the takeaway was over the road from the pub or around the corner from the club. There was you know, no shortage of of uh, takeaways at that time. And it, it was a habit that I wanted to, wanted to move away from. So I remember driving to, <coughs> to work on a Friday and I was like, like this, this weekend I'm not going to have takeaways. And you know, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy looking back, definitely. But, but that's where I was. Now, I was, as well as working as a doorman, I was doing voluntary work in a gym. I'd work from like seven until five. I'd do a pub, then, then a club. Then I'd go and do some my voluntary work like eight till three in a gym to gain experience. Like I loved it. Obviously, I was sleep deprived. So I was um, you know, doing, doing lots of hours. And then um, I'd have a bit of a nap. Sorry, lots of notifications. Um, I'd have a bit of a nap and then I'd go back. It would be Saturday. Like the weekends would be both really challenging because of the hours, because of the job, because I really wanted to, um, you know, work, work in that gym. It's an amazing place. Um, and <coughs> I wanted to change his habits. Now, I remember one weekend I did. I, I didn't have a takeaway. It was great. And then I was like, oh, I've cracked it. Like, that's, that's it. Um, then the next weekend, you know, me and Emma, we did have a takeaway. And then it was a bit like, right, okay. You know, that, that, I wasn't happy about that because, um, again, I, I, I did want to make those improvements. So if you're watching this and weekends are a challenge, okay, it might not be takeaways. It doesn't really matter what it is. But there's a different, there can be a different like kind of mindset midweek and weekend. And it's almost like, you know, again, it was, it was a problem for me, put it that way. So I'm going to give you, uh, I like freeze generally. Um, I'm going to give you some thoughts on, on some of the things that I did do, what helped me. And actually some of the things that I could have could have done with looking back that would have definitely made it a bit easier. So hopefully this is going to be an awesome video. So <clears throat> one of the things that I actually started to do, and again, it, it wasn't, I'm not sure if it was like a conscious decision, but when I'd finish that, that voluntary work in that gym, I got free access to the facilities and I went for a swim I, I used a sauna and steam room. Uh, I mean, I was exhausted anyway for, from the lack of sleep, but I used those. I remember nearly falling asleep in, in the, the steam room. Um, so I did that. I think that had a, a positive impact. I, I definitely think that helped because I was moving more. Uh, I was, it was a bit more exercise. Not that exercise was a problem, but it, was, it kind of de-stressed me, right? It was, it was a little bit of that kind of me time. That, that was helpful. I'm not sure if because I went to the swimming pool and like obviously you take your clothes off because you're just in your trunks. I don't know if that helped because it was like people could see and I was like, right, I want to I wanna look better and people can see me without my clothes and I don't know if that was going on. 
bear in mind, I really wanted to work in this gym. I, my environment was changing from a doorman to work in a gym. And I really wanted to be the best version of me. I always want to improve. So I was motivated. You know, I, I did have this challenge, this takeaway thing, but I was motivated. So that, that's a really good conversation. Like I, I linked my goals to what what I was doing and where I wanted to be. You know, it's it's obvious with the gym thing, but but do that with you. Like, how would how does does this impact on your goals? And what would success like? Do that. It's very simple for for me. Obviously, looking back, but if you're in a similar situation, I wouldn't I wouldn't overlook doing that. You know, say you want more energy, you want to have more presence, you want to look better because. You know, when we see someone who's perhaps not in the best shape, it, it's not that it's not that they're. I was speaking on LinkedIn to someone about this the other day. It's not that they're. You know, if someone's out of shape, that they're not going to be a good staff member. Quite the opposite. Sometimes you're so committed to business at the sacrifice of the health, but it's not good, and it's something that that you want to improve, right? So bear in mind my motivation at the time. But yeah, just to come back to that. I did a swim and a sauna and a steam, so like a bit of de-stress. At the time, I might not have recognised it as that, but you know, it definitely helped. I think looking back, um, the second one was that I stopped being a, a douchebag when it comes to having the takeaways. I'd fall for this one, and she'd be like, "Oh, do you want do you want chips with that?" Right, like a Chinese place, and I'd be like, "No, I'm okay." Yeah, I was trying to make a small positive change. And then she'd be like, oh, they're free. And it's like, we all love free stuff, right? I'd be like, oh, go on then. You know, so I'd take the chips home. That, that definitely didn't help. Because A, there was a frame of reference that, that I was doing something I didn't want to do, which isn't good. Number two, I've, I've obviously increased my calories. And I'm not going to waste food. So like, they got eaten one way or the other, either that day or the next day. So, so that, wasn't, that wasn't great. Another thing which is related to this is and again if if this is all like not where you are then that, that's cool it's not going to be a, a long video anyway but one thing that i did was I'd, I'd always like we'd have this chat about what we'd order and they'd be like oh just in case like should we get that yeah just in case should we get that and i was like we was probably buying for like three or four right <laughs> we're looking back so i never remember once ordering a takeaway when we didn't have enough i do remember a lot of times we didn't we had more and uh, yeah, like I ate it, you know, I was flipping full. Um, and then maybe the next day I had a little bit more, right? And, and bear in mind at the time I wanted to reduce this. I was actually going the opposite way, buying too much, having those chips and eating the next day. So it's, it's easy to look back and say, well, no wonder that, that this was harder than it needed to be. Now, the third thing, which is, I'm not sure if it's more important or less, or maybe it's a little bit of both, but me and Emma, we actually had a conversation about what we would like on the days. Like, instead of just the same, we'd be like, right, what, what shall we have this weekend? And I think that that helped because we then had a decision that was already in place instead of deciding, you know, on the evening at the moment what we fancied. I definitely think that had a place. So there, there's three things because the, the last one, um, we, we then had that conversation. We, we made slightly better choices and, and that gathered momentum using a compound effect over time so i hope that's helped what i'm going to do now is again while i'm looking back at my experience to see if that can be of value to to you if you're in a similar place you know the weekends being the main problem is looking back i could have definitely 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 had had more of a system a process in place had something that was specific and not not done this on my own not been just trying to lose weight and and just kind of you know probably got in my own head maybe it's a bit of ego been to you know studied sports science at uni qualified personal trainer like expert in in nutrition you know um been the former professional weightlifter like elite athlete so like I can do this on my own. Yeah, definitely that was where I was. I could definitely have done with with for the purpose of this, this this specific goal to get there quicker, easier, more consistently, was just get someone on board. 
even if it's just to say like have you done the thing that you say you're going to do and if not why not and what can we do about that simple conversations so that could have helped again with a proven system and been a bit kinder to myself like definitely like the swim and the sauna that that was me just like doing something kind of just for me um so that that's that, that's that's never a bad thing especially if you're driven you're determined you you know you're fighting literally as i was as a doorman um but but you know days are hard you've got stuff to do it, it's good to have that that downtime as well to uh, to be able to switch off so hope that helped i hope you have a great day and uh yeah love to hear your thoughts and i'll speak to you tomorrow